what's up everybody welcome back to another video on the texas rangers report and in this video we have a lot of uh news to go over so right now the players association and the owners have ongoingly been discussing new proposals to get a collective bargaining agreement done um so there has been a lot of rumors surrounding the uh universal dh a lot of rumors regarding comp picks so we're going to go into that and there's also um a rumor regarding matt olsen um and that the rangers are still interested in him whenever the lockout is over so i'll be digging into that but if you haven't already make sure to subscribe right now because i'm your number one source for all things texas rangers on youtube so let me dive straight into the matt olsen rumor this is this was a rumor that we heard going into the lockout and um it kind of makes sense even though that the rangers and the athletics are in the same division um this is the texas rangers just doing their due diligence because matt olsen is probably one of the best first basemen in the game it probably goes freddie freeman and then matt olsen in my opinion so the rangers are just doing their due diligence um is first base the biggest need on the rangers no but if you were to get matt olsen would that help you yes obviously you have um nate low on your team and i think a trade talks would start with nate low because the athletics have been known to want players they can help out immediately and that makes sense because Nate Lowe had a productive season last year. He could step right in immediately and they'd have um, control for him for the next five years. But if the collective bargain agreement gets changed, it might be the next four years. So that makes sense. Um, the Athletics probably wanted one of our top three prospects being Jack Leiter, Colwyn, uh, Josh Young. That's not going to happen. Um, I think the negotiations probably start around Justin Foscue. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Would you actually want to trade for Matt Olson? If we got him, would he have a great season? Probably, but you only get two years of him. Would he sign a long-term extension with the Rangers? There's no telling. Um, and I, th I do know that the outfield is more of a need for the Texas Rangers. But this is a guy that these type of players don't really become available too often. And for the price that he is going to be cost... Um, it, it might just be the right opportune time for the Rangers to jump on this. And moving to the other side of things. So the Players Association and the owners have agreed to accept the Universal DH as part of ongoing talks to get a collective bargaining agreement done. But also, um, on another note, they have eliminated, um, whenever you sign a player that had a qualifying offer, they eliminated giving away comp picks. So from what I have understood, the Rangers won't lose a second round pick for signing Marcus Simeon, and they won't lose their third round pick for signing uh, Corey Seager. And this is great for the Texas Rangers because yes, you can draft more players and develop more players into the farm system. Um, would that have been fine if we lost those picks? Yeah, because we got all-star players in Simeon and Seager. Although, what does this mean going on? The Rangers, most likely, if this wasn't a rule, probably wouldn't have looked at signing any other players with qualifying offer. Those guys are um, uh, Castellanos, um, Michael Conforto, those, those type of guys. I don't know. Oh, Freddie Freeman. Those guys have qualifying offers. So with this in place, I think that the Rangers are definitely looking at Nick Castellanos, um, a lot because they showed interest in him a few off seasons ago um, so I'm sure after having two really good seasons they're gonna show a lot more interest um, it's gonna come in the big price but now there's no qualifying offer they don't have to give up draft picks um, hopefully um, I read this right a lot of these Twitter um, tweets can be misleading because you don't know who has the right information but if this is right, this could be huge because this could open up the Rangers free agency pool to almost anybody you can think about. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, are you excited the Rangers don't have to supposedly give up picks for uh, Seager and Simeon? 
Are you excited they could go after Trevor Story as well? That's another guy. Trevor Story, uh, Nick Castellanos, Michael Conforto. Those guys could be huge for the Texas Rangers next year. And we know outfield is a spot. Trevor Story doesn't want to switch to he doesn't want to switch away from shortstop but you never know coming back to Dallas he might be willing to play left field so we will just see and what do you think on those Matt Olson rumors I know a lot of Rangers fans believe in Nate Lowe maybe some a little too much than others but we all know that Matt Olson is better but for only two years we'd have to give up most likely Nate Lowe and some top prospects do you guys think it's worth it let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.